Okay guys, here we are with the CMP ME109. Um, I am borrowing this one from a, from a friend to um, go ahead and make a cockpit kit for. Um, very first thing I did was I got the um, canopy, the canopy came with it and uh, as it came out of the bag it was already cracked so um, I made a plug uh, and it's also hazy like everybody said. Uh, I've already made a plug and was able to pull a replacement canopy for it. Um, it'll be pulled out of 040. It's a lot less brittle than the uh, original. Uh, the only thing is it won't be painted. Um, it was able, I was able to pull the, most of the panel lines in just like it was in the original. It's an exact duplicate of the original. Anyway, that's done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to a um, cutting. I'm going to remove the... Um, this area right here, I'm going to get it marked off, I'll show you what I'm going to remove, and, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we are. What I do is I, I mark this off, I got some uh, 3M uh, eighth inch and uh, quarter inch um, tape, and I've went ahead and masked off what I'm going to cut out. I'm going to leave an eighth inch all the way around here, and you, got to, you have to leave the ledge on the front so the canopy will sit down on it. So we're going to take off, this is from, you're coming up on the ledge and, and the, just where the first flat part starts, we're going to take an eighth inch off, all the way, all the way both sides and, and leave, leave an eighth on the front. Anyway, back here on the back, I've come off, come off the um, split where it comes down and, and transitions to straight. I put three pieces of quarter inch, which will get me out three quarters of an inch. And now what I've done is to cut the side of the fusel uh, of the copy area where it came forward, I've come out from this corner a half inch and from that corner forward a half inch and then I put a piece of tape across here. You can see where, uh, well you probably might not be able to see but there's a line. I come from that corner one half inch and then one half and then all I do is just take my tape and um, mark it or lay it across there and that's what I am going to leave. I'm going to leave that little bit. I'm going to take my Dremel tool and remove all of this inside that that area now. Uh, this cockpit was made for a cockpit kit. It's all everything is open. You don't have to remove any of your formers. Um, let's see, I'll move this down. Like I said, you don't have to move any, remove any formers. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to probably drop this cockpit down. This is three inches to here. I'm going to drop it down three and a half inches. The worst you'll have to do is raise this servo. Just put a, um, a thing on here to raise this up just a little bit so you got clearance to come across here. But this is a great setup for an airplane. I, I doubt you're going to have to do any modification to um, the uh, formers inside. To, to get this cockpit installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this cut out and um, I'll be back as soon as I get that done. Okay, here I've got it removed. I tell you, making that first cut is always the scariest. Anyway, I've got it all cut out. I've even cleaned it out just underneath this lip here. Um, I left probably, um, probably a, a, between a 132nd and a 164th edge underneath here so we got that all done all right um, next time you see me i'll be showing you how we're going to install some some of the cockpit uh, i just wanted to show you how i cut that out um, i've already got the chair i'm going to use it comes in here and it will sit it's got a perfect fit between the two like it did on the on the product on the real one so we're going to go ahead and um, get this started and um, when you see me back we'll be working on install installing the cockpit Okay, here I am. I have uh, removed the tape and we're ready to install the cockpit. Um, I have already got it painted and ready to install, but I want to show you. Prior, here's a previous one I did. When you get it, you're going to see that the sides curve up and then you have a, a, a wide area here. What we're going to do is um, cut all the major all the major sides around until they're until they're 90 degree until the night you're back to the 90 degree part all the way around. Then. We're going to take this and we're going to cut the flashing until it comes from here up to a point on each corner. From where it starts to curve up to a point. You're going to do each corner that way. Then we're going to come up here at the top and this is where you need to start because we're going to trial fit everything. You're going to come in 
on the back side you're going to come in one inch and clip it and, and clean that out on both sides okay this allows it to slide up underneath the, the, the back of the fuselage there all right in the front we're going to come back one quarter of an inch and we're going to clip it and um, clean that out all right then the next thing we do is like on my take my big wide pliers and we take and um, and crimp this all the way across and this allows it to fold up all right once you trial fitted you need to go ahead and, and install everything on, on the cockpit itself um, I will include uh, fuel line uh, uh, your um, aluminum tubing this is actually a retract airline but I use it for my it's, that, that was the fuel line coming from the back you have your oxygen set up here um, what I supply is a um, is a I guess it's the control valve uh, there will be a, a small handle for the end of it you have uh, this is where the oxygen tube or the oxygen mask would hook up it hook up to here and go and also it has a set of gauges now what I did and I'm just debating whether to include it or not all I took was some um, solder just like you use on all your hobby stuff and I made my um, air line I just straightened it out and you can see where I have bent it it's like it was on documentation and and hooked it up and and done that uh, I did add, I'll have some uh, pins in there there was some uh, I don't know if they were I couldn't tell from the documentation whether they were knobs or um, lights anyway those are up top you will have to make you a, a throttle handle uh, there's a uh, some type of push button here that was included uh, there's a uh, resin piece included for that um, but anyway you still need to trial fit everything before you put all that on but I just want to show it to you but to try to get this to fit what we do is take it and you're gonna bend it up and we come from the bottom and slide it back and we just it's just locks right into place and you may have to mess with your notches don't cut too much out but it, it locks right into place this locks right in place I see it fits perfectly in there um, then now my gun sights already connected I, what you do is you have a separate gun sight you will have to put the ABS clear on there you'll have to um, uh, put a piece of uh, balsa or something to, to pull it off of the the, uh, the um, instrument panel a little bit anyway uh, you have to cut out your gauges um, I use um, uh, brass tubing I sharpen the inside of it and and turn it until I get them and that, that cuts those out really nicely and then you have to uh, I paint it the base color and then come back and paint each outline of the dial black but that slides in you just move it into place and it should lock up against the top here so it's really not too hard you just have to get it by everything and it, it will pull up into place and lock in so that that's the easy part we get that done and let me get some more things and i'll be right back 